Now the next part of this process is to prepare the glass so that it basically becomes a, a uh, canvas. Okay. Now I've already pre-cut the glass with, um, I'm sorry, I've pre-cut the canvas and it has adhesive backing which makes it really simple and then I'm just going to attach okay so there we have a handmade canvas and then I'm also going to dress the back of the glass frame and I do this with all of my um, artwork the canvas panels that I use uh, get a felt backing this too has already been pre-cut this piece of felt and it has uh, adhesive backing so I'm just going to attach this as well there you have it. There's the back, there's the front. Now let's get our lady onto the canvas. In order to do that, I use a construction grade adhesive and I just squirt it onto the canvas. Probably, in, I probably use too much, but better safe than sorry. And so now I'm going to just spread this adhesive. Um, yeah, I usually don't worry about thickness. I try to eliminate large clumps, but you know, I have found that the thickness of the adhesive and kind of the unevenness of the spread of the adhesive lends very well to creating depth uh, to the painting. So I don't worry about it too much if um, after I attach the painting uh, I notice some um, you know raised uh, sections or lumps or I just figure it was all meant to be. I'll clean that up just a little bit. Okay, now we are going to let me clean my fingers a bit. We are going to attach the image. There we go. It's a perfect fit. I'm just going to press and then I'm going to clean up this edge right here just a little bit. Okay. So there you have it. There's our reclining lady. And the final step is to pop her into the frame. This is just a simple uh, mini frame. I get my frames from um, Hobby Lobby. And there she is. Our reclining Lady. 
hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.